Hans Jung watched her as he knelt down to expect the flowers. Outside the butterfly estate, a smile reaching his lips when a butterfly had landed on their nose. He continued watching from the window inside the recovery room until he felt a poke on his side. Tanjiro, Zenitsu called, snapping Tanjiro out of his trance. Zenitsu! Why are you staring at listener? He, he acts so innocently. Instantly. Tanjiro felt his cheeks burn up along with his heart beating violently in his chest. I just happened to see her after looking out the window, he replied. A hand scratching the back of his head. Zenitsu raised an eyebrow and looked outside. The butterflies had danced around you magically. It was the only, it was almost as the butterflies were magically transformed your clothes into a glowing ball gown. Tandra watched again as well, admiring your graceful and beauty, full form, twirl around the butterfly. She's beautiful. He mumbled. Oh, ho ho. So you like her, don't you, Zenitsu smirked while staring at Tandrio. I don't, he exclaimed defensively. You know, it's not bad. She's training along with the other pillars to become one. You should train with her, Zenitsu teased, poking at Tandrio's sides. Tandrio move, moves back down to his bed. His face flustered in a deep red. Come on, just admit you like her, Zenitsu added, plopping down his bed right next to Tandro, hugging his fluffed up pillow. Tandro sighed. He likes chasing the lines on the wind floor. Okay, okay, I do like her. I don't know how to talk to her, that is all, he replied shyly. Oh, pish posh, talking to girls is easy, Zenitsu beamed. Right. As Tandro pondered whether not to talk to you or not, one of your friends came up to you and asked if you could give the boys their daily medicine. Since she, was, she took out the laundry and you agreed since you had nothing else planned for the day except for training later on. Thank you so much, listener. Your friend smiled as bef before walking up to get clean laundry. Sorry guys, my voice is tripping. You then glanced at the window and, and spotted Tanjiro leaning at the windowsill as he watched you with a smile. When he realized he'd been caught, he clumsily felt back with an embarrassed look on his face. You felt your head spin. Feeling uneasy that the boy you had been so curious and infatuated with had been staring at you. You shook yourself out of your thoughts with a gulp before making your way to the recovery room. Recovery room. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she caught me. Zenitsu, what do I do? Tanjo yelled, hands on top of his head, while ducking down underneath the window. Just pretend it never happened. How can I pretend it never happened? It. I simply can't. Before he could finish his sentence, he slid the door open, holding a tray of three cups of medicine. Hey guys, so sorry for hearing a lot of background noise. My dad literally just came up here with his tablet watching football of all times of the day. Anyway, he's going to finish with the video. Hello, you stood her out, sliding the door closed behind you. Uh, hello, Tundra replied, removing his hands from his head and sitting straight up. Tundra awkwardly slipped himself underneath the covers as he watched you and Tundra looking at each other. I'm here to give you your medicine, since the other person couldn't because she was out taking laundry. He said, walking over to them, handing their cups. Thank you, Tundra said with Tundra in unison while bowing their heads, causing a soft giggle to escape your lips. No need for formalities when you're around me, you smiled. As you handed them as you handed out their cups, you noticed Inusuke was still lying down on his bed. Depressly, you approached him and told him to take his medicine, but he remained there without an answer. I'll put this right here for you. Please drink it, you said. Gently placing the cup on a small dresser next to him. You remember then you then remember what happened earlier and decided to ask Tandro what that was about. Tandro, he choked, looking over to you as he turned to meet you, as he turned to meet his gaze. Yes? I saw you staring at me from the window earlier. What was that about?
reacts all so innocently. Tantio's face turns to burn up as he tried to form his words for an answer. He walked over to his bed and sat down. I'm very sorry, listener. I didn't mean to stare. It's just... You hummed. Staring intently at the adorable boy. You looked so beautiful, I couldn't help it. He blushed. Looking away from your eyes, you felt a flutter. You felt your heart flutter after hearing those words escape his lips. Thank you. Tinitu couldn't believe his eyes and ears. So, quietly, tucked yourself under sheets, envious about how Tanjiro could get along with girls so easily. Tanjiro buried his face into his hands as Izu stood up shyly. Now, you begin. Would you like to train with me? Tanjiro lifted his head from his hands in surprise. Train with you? You nodded. Of course. I'll be waiting outside for you. You, ex you excitedly left the room while Tanjiro watched dumbfounded by your invitation. Later on, after finished taking his medicine, he met you outside for training. As you and him trained, he watched your skills carefully. He was surprised that it was a little more advanced than him. It was more advanced than him. You moved your sword gracefully and swiftly, keeping your focus. Eventually, your guy's training ended. Tanjiro, when you're fighting a demon, you must keep your hands like this, so it's much easier to reach the demon's neck. You can't keep your hands so low. That way, you'll only be able to hit the demon in the side and make it a, making yourself an easier target, you said. Of course. Sorry. No need to apologize. Any? Everyone needs to improve somehow, he said. We can't just keep using the same fighting style. Eventually, the demons will catch on and find a way to deflect us. So, we keep on changing it up to make sure that never happens. Time skip. You and Tantro started to hang out more than usual. One day, you were sitting there admiring the flowers and Tantro sat next to you. Eventually, he started to speak as he sat next to you in silence. He had a crush on you for the longest since the beginning when he started watching you from the window and you felt the same way after you guys started hanging out. So what are you looking at? Tantra said. Oh, I'm looking at these flowers. They're my favorite. Really? You pointed to a blue one. <laughs> this means loyalty, bravery, and kindness. You said. You quickly got an idea. You plucked the flower. Tanjiro, can you turn around for me, please? He turned to face you. He quietly tucked the flower into his hair. Huh? Why did you do that? <laughs> I think the flower matches you, he said, chuckling. Tanjiro turned to a pink one. Well, a purple one. What's this for? He said. Oh, the purple one means honesty, kindness, and beautiful, he said. Tanjiro got an idea too. He plucked the flower and put it into your hair. I think this one represents you pretty well, Tanjiro said, turning his head so you can see his blush. Your face turned pinkish. And what does this one mean, he said? Turning to a red one. Oh, that one means love and passion, he said. He plucked the flower and handed it to you. I think this represents my feelings well enough for you, he said. You quickly got on way to what he was saying. Your face turned bright red as red as the flower. Listener, will you be my girlfriend, he said. He said. Sorry, guys, I'm messing up. He smiled. Of course I will. Giving him a kiss. But that only made his cheeks turn redder, redder, and redder. He was redder than the flowers, when, but you didn't think that was possible. You chuckled. How about we eat lunch together?
tomorrow. Take it as a little date, since we can't really go out because of the whole Dina situation, you said. Tanjo nodded his head. That was so lovely. That's not fair, Zenitsu called out. Zenitsu? How come you get all the girls? Zenitsu is not... Nesuko said. Tanjo took a moment to to what Nesuko just mumbled, and his face turned red again once more. If you guys didn't catch on, she was saying, um, listener and Tanjo and the tree K S S I N G. Yeah, if you didn't catch on. Nesuko chan! Zenitsu said, turning around as soon as he heard his mumble, her mumble. Nezuko turned around with surprised face and started running. Nezuko chan, come back here! Tantro sighed. I'll see you later, listener. I have to go save my sister from Zenitsu. You, you let a small chuckle escape your lips. Sure, I'll be waiting here for you, he said. Zenitsu, leave, leave my sister alone! Tanjiro said as he chased after the Zenitsu. You sat there and watched him. Laughing at Tanjiro trying to save his sister from Zenitsu.